quick run through how I make the high end products. The, um, well, what's it called? Let's take a look at the freighter. Fusion igniters and stasis devices. There's my base. All the storage modules left and right. Bottom here. So I've got an area where I grow fungus. And let's see, star bramble with extra mordite. And on this side, solar vines. Each of the units is color coded. Um, more star bramble on this side, and the other two red ones, those are for, as you can see, corporate. That's for with the living glass. Go up one level, and we've got carbon being grown here. And again, um, the white is the bramble, and the purple side here is the fungus. And on the opposite side, I've got more white and then more orange, the solar vine and the star bramble. One more level up. I've got more cactus. And then all of this stuff here is the gamma weed, which is required for a living glass. And more gamma weed on this side. And of course, since it's a frost planet, I can see it from here. Uh, that's the back. I wonder if I can look up the front and look down. Can't see it. Okay, we'll go down. If I look at the front, because it's a frost planet, there's the frost wart all being grown outside. A miner producing emerald and these ones here produce the radon. I'm not going to harvest them now because I've already done I've already done the, the radon here and the sulfurine. I'm going to go into my ship There's my freighter up there. I'm going to go into my ship and um, go to the next planet. See, there's my base from the air. The next planet is up over here somewhere. Not those two. It's got to be... So it's over here. That's the gold. There's the iridium. And somewhere behind me, there it is. All my exocraft. Over here is the nitrogen harvesters. So throw some cadmium in there and take that could use plutonium or carbon doesn't matter I tend to use thamium because you can buy it easily So let's see. I want to craft. Ammonium salts. And I'm going to craft myself. Um, let's see. I'm going to craft myself 20 of each. So there's 10 carbon, 
10 thermic condensate and 10 ammonia but I'm also going to keep 10 on my starship and that will allow me to make five of those and five of those I'll show you that in some time I'm back one of the first things that I did after finishing the quest line for building um, your base which basically gives you most of your manufacturing products is to go into my discoveries now my discoveries of the planets that I had discovered and look through them to see what resources were on those planets so I got my golden iridium here there's the iridium over there and I put those up right away and then on the other planet uh, my home planet's got emerald and copper and nickel and aluminum on a third world but I made sure going through those that I could get the atmospheric products although I didn't put these guys up right away because you don't really need them but for minerals when you're building any of your add-ons for your starship uh, sorry not those um, these ones all of these things require all kinds of minerals and I hate standing around shooting at rocks here we go there's the last of it So what that's giving me is 10 enriched carbon, 10 thermic condensate, and 10 ammonium salt. I brought 5 living glass, 10 circuit boards, 5 liquid explosives. And you see, I've used up most of my carbon. The carbon, the thamium, plutonium, and iron, stuff like that, stay on board my ship. And I've put everything else on the freighter. So the emerald makes grantine, the gold makes magna gold, etc. And then it takes the iridium the emerald and the gold, so the top two and the bottom one to make iridescite and then the middle three, aluminum, nickel and copper to make geodesite. So I've got ten more up here, so I got a total of twenty of each because it's going to take me ten simply to make five of those and another ten to make five of those. So let's get started. The interesting thing about these guys here is for your gas products not including actually uh, making this enriched alloy, I guess is that's what it's called. There's six additional products that you can make. So I'm going to make my quantum processors first. So I need to make a semiconductor. Semiconductors are these guys here. And you see it's taking the ammonium and the thermic conductor. I just made 10 of those, used up everything that was there. And then the enriched carbon is going to combine with that to turn those into superconductors. And the superconductors get combined with, for my starship here, the circuit boards. And I don't even need to move them to give me uh, quantum processors. So now I'm going to use this stuff here that's still down here. I can send it to my freighter. I don't have to, but I'm going to do that just so we can see what's going on. them back where I had them. So I'm going to start off doing, I always started off doing the stasis devices because I always found them kind of cool. So cryogenic chamber. I need to make hot ice. And hot ice is made from enriched carbon and ammonium salt. So you have to be careful here you don't make the wrong thing. 
Let's see, ammonium salt enriched carbon. And now the hot ice gets combined with the thermic condensate to make a cryo pump. Um, let me sit inside my hammer. So the cryo pump now gets combined with, from my ship, the living glass. And that's going to give me cryogenic chambers. Need living glass and cryo pump. And then the cryogenic chambers combined with the quantum processor to give me stasis devices. Oh, it also takes an iridescite. Let's not forget that. Let's see, where's my iridescite? Um, let's make a few of those. The iridescite is the uranium and the grantine and magna gold. Let's see what I'm making here. Stasis devices. I'll put that where the iridescite used to sit. So the geodesite, I need to do the same thing. Let's make sure I've got five of those. And see, I've still got five of those. So to make the fusion igniters, you kind of have to look along the chemistry line. Which is, yeah, no, I've made all of that stuff. An organic catalyst, thermic condensate and enriched carbon. Which gets combined with the ammonium salt. Obviously, that's the only one left. To make this fusion accelerant. The fusion accelerant is combined with well, my starship, the liquid explosives. Fusion accelerant, liquid explosives. See again, it's all it's all chemical chemistry. So this is making me. Oh, I passed it. Freighter fuel. And the freighter fuel gets combined with the geodesite and another quantum processor to create fusion igniters. And there you have it. That's worth 180 million. That's worth 180 million. That's about what we just made. And then that's another 54. So that's another 180. So that's um, 540 million approximately credits that I've got right there. Way more than 133 that I had there. And a lot faster too. And the reason I want to have all that money is well, this thing cost me over 120 million just for this Class C freighter. And it's not a very good one. I mean, it only has 25 slots. And as cool as my ship is over here, and it is a very cool ship, and that's primarily because you look at the stats for it 38 slots. Class A, I know it's not S, 38 slots, Class A, and um, 12 tech slots. If I can get a Class S, then I will, but that'll cost me, this one was about 150 million. That'll probably cost another 100 to 150 million on top of that. And of course, any of your exotic ships will cost you upwards of that much. So, having a billion or so credits kicking around could be useful. That thing's so massively huge. Thanks for watching.